The head of foreign policy for the European Union has made a frank admission. The era of Western dominance has ended and the countries of the global south, which represent the global majority, have increasing economic and political power and the West can no longer control the entire world. We are firmly in a multipolar system, not a unipolar system dominated by the Western powers. These were very striking comments made by the top EU diplomat, Josip Borrell. And in the description below, I have included a link to an article that I have written about this, which includes all of the sources that I'll be discussing today. Josep Borrell said this in an article that he wrote at the official website of the European Union's diplomatic service on the 25th of February, and he revealed that the EU has four main tasks in terms of its geopolitical agenda, and one of those is improving our relations with the global south. The top European diplomat wrote, quote, if the current global geopolitical tensions continue to evolve in the direction of the West against the rest, Europe's future risks to be bleak. The era of Western dominance has indeed definitively ended. While this has been theoretically understood, we have not always drawn all practical conclusions from this new reality. In the same article, Burrell acknowledged that the wars in Ukraine and Gaza have accelerated this shift, this geopolitical shift, and he added that the anti-colonial uprisings in the Sahel region of Western and Central Africa have also accelerated this shift. And in Burkina Faso, Niger, and Mali, there are nationalist military governments that have come to power opposing the neo-colonialist policies of France, which controls their currencies and largely dominates their economies. And Burrell warned that this could be a symbol of things to come if more countries around the global south rebel against the Western powers that colonize them. And in this article, the top EU foreign policy official said, quote, many in the global south accuse us of double standards. And he complained that Russia has managed to take advantage of the situation. Now, Josep Rell is known for sometimes making very frank admissions of inconvenient truths that other diplomats in the EU leave unsaid. And we saw a similar example of this back in 2022, in which the EU foreign policy chief acknowledged that the prosperity of Europe, its economic model, was based on China and Russia. It was based on cheap energy coming from Russia, access to the big China market, and low paid Chinese workers, but with the Western sanctions and economic war on Russia and the end of Western imports of Russian oil and gas, and furthermore, with the new Cold War against China and the Western sanctions and trade restrictions on China, these policies have been backfiring and devastating the European economy. I have a separate video that I did about that, which I will link to in the description below. But the point to take away here is that inside the European Union, many diplomats and politicians understand that the US and Europe, NATO as a bloc, are dividing the world into two camps of the West against the rest. And some people in Brussels recognize this is actually bad for their long-term interests. It's going to hurt them politically and economically, which is already happening. In fact, we've seen a series of articles in major Western media outlets warning about precisely the same thing. Foreign Affairs warned of the West versus the rest. Britain's major newspaper, The Guardian, published an op-ed titled, The World is Splintering into the West versus the Rest, and that leaves us all in more danger. The article noted that from Gaza and Ukraine to food insecurity, global problems are linked echo chambers and bubbles won't solve them. Foreign Policy Magazine published an article titled The West vs. the Rest, Welcome to the 21st Century Cold War. And it was written by a senior fellow at the very influential Washington-based think tank, the Brookings Institution, Angela Stent. And she's the author of the book titled Putin's World, Russia Against the West and With 
the rest. So we see this idea that the West is alienating the rest of the world in the global South. However, recognizing the problem is one thing, actually working to try to solve it is another. And we have to ask, what is Europe doing to try to prevent this division of the world into the West versus the rest? And if you look at the other comments made by Josep Brel in this same article, you can see that he's doubling down on these very same policies that are making the problem even worse. This podcast was brought to you by BG Media App and BarGlobal.net. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. It does help support our productions. Also, please download the BG Media app to access the best works of the world's authors rendered in audiobooks, along with great experience through music, podcasts, and vodcasts. Mm -hmm.